Hi everyone, nice to meet you. Uh, me and Federico will talk today about how we migrated our Kubernetes cluster from, from the Amazon VPN CNI plugin to Cilium. We are two engineers based in Gothenburg and we work at Meltwater. If you haven't heard about Meltwater, we are a software as a service company. Uh, our mission is to help our customers uh, better understand, influence and engage with their key stakeholders. Here's a list of the services we provide, and if you want to learn more, you can head over to meltwater.com. Meltwater is a global company uh, with engineers all around the world. We're about 300 plus engineers, and we organize in autonomous teams that are responsible end-to-end -end for their own applications. And our teams provides a few internal services to these teams, uh, one of which is Kubernetes. Our main production cluster is used by about 70 teams. Uh, we run over 3,000 applications, summing up to more than 12,000 pods. Overall, the cluster provides 9,500 9, cores, 24 terabytes of memory, and uh, nine different EC2 instance types to allocate for different work workloads. Inside our clusters, we run a few add-ons that our users rely upon. Uh, for example, the cluster autoscaler, so they don't need to worry about capacity, uh, care autoscaling, uh, ingress, Prometheus, external DNS, and so on. We run in AWS, and we manage our cluster with COPS, which is a tool in the Kubernetes project. And when we started with Kubernetes, we chose the, AWN, uh, the Amazon VPC CNI plugin, as at the time, it was the only supported option for native routing. So why changing? Um, why changing CNI plugin? We're always interested in providing additional functionality, or for example, we wanted to add network policies or better network observability. But what triggered specifically this work was a requirement to encrypt all traffic, uh, all network traffic between applications in the Kubernetes cluster. We have been following Cilium for a long time, and it looked like a great choice for this, uh, for this goal because it we would be able to roll it out uh, encryption cluster-wide without uh, users having to do anything. Uh, so all traffic would be encrypted without them having to lift a finger. And the other reasons is uh, Cilium has a wider adoption, and we see that many, uh, <clears throat> many Kubernetes managed Kubernetes providers uh, as adopted as uh, the default CNI plugin and many large companies as well as use Cilium. So it seemed like a good choice uh, community-wise. So our requirements for, for the migration was uh, that it should be seamless. Obviously, our users shouldn't notice the change or we shouldn't have to have a, a maintenance window. It should be possible to do in place as we don't have, a, at the moment, a mechanism to migrate customers from our users from one cluster to another. And we should not have to change our tools. Uh, we wanted to continue using uh, COPS, and we also don't want to get away from using uh, native routing. And obviously, every add-on that we, that we have in the cluster should continue to work as, uh, as expecting uh, during and after the migration. And we, we don't want to have to upgrade Kubernetes uh, because of this, uh, of this goal. So armed with this list of requirements, we started uh, a small production-like cluster to learn to learn the ropes. So our Cilium uh, uh, and to run Cilium in AWS in I mode. The documentation is really good, and we learned uh, we tried to learn all the different configuration options. And once we had something running on the small scale, then we we started benchmarking it, benchmarking it against the current CNI plugin. Uh, Cilium has, uh, has published very good uh, blog post and has made some of the tooling that they use available. So we run the same tooling against the cluster and we made sure that the, the performance was at least as good as with the AWS uh, CNI plugin. Um, once we were satisfied with that, we look at how we could combine uh, Cilium uh, with COPS. We decided not to manage uh, Cilium with COPS itself, uh, Cilium, uh, COPS has the ability of managing the manifest for Cilium, but we decided to opt out. And in order to do so, we had to make a small change to, to go to COPS so that we could, uh, we could manage Cilium separately. And with that, I will hand over to Federico. Yes, so we were now everything prepared. We knew how uh, Cilium works and we could deploy Cilium with outside of COPS, and now we were um, tackling the, the migration procedure. Um, we 
uh, remember that we wanted to do this seamless for the users and in place in the current cluster. Um, we have seen other migrations before. There was the uh, migration from uh, Skybat and Jetstack that migrated away from Flannel and Calico to Cilium. So uh, from inspired by that, we saw that it should be possible to migrate in place from um, the Amazon CNI plugin to, to, to Cilium. Um, what we thought was um, to have the cluster in the initial state with the Amazon CNI plugin and then modify the um, Amazon CNI um, daemon set to only run on old nodes. Um, we then would deploy um, Cilium into the cluster and make configure it that it would only run on, on new nodes that we deploy into the cluster. Um, these new nodes would then only get the uh, Cilium CNI plugin and not the, the, the Amazon CNI. And with that, we would replace then nodes one by one, starting with the um, control plane. Uh, once the control plane is migrated to, uh, to Cilium, we then continue to um, create new nodes with the uh, Cilium uh, CNI and then drain cordon and drain the old nodes with the Amazon CNI so that all workloads, all pods move from the old nodes to the, to the new nodes with the Cilium. And once this is done, um, we could then terminate all the old nodes and we would have a cluster with uh, just running Cilium. We have done this a couple of times to test the procedures, to test the, um, the sequence of, of commands to use. Uh, when to deploy what, when to start what, when to drain which node. And uh, after after doing that, we, we codified the entire procedure so that we could uh, run this automatically. We tested it, and in the end, we then decided to roll this out to uh, production and uh, communicated this to our users. Um, we started first with a small internal production cluster that is not affecting uh, external customers. And while doing that, we realized that we have missed one configuration option, which we only found out while um, developing our own testing tool for that. And this is a uh, configuration option that is needed for, for, for Amazon so that um, pods that get an IP from the secondary uh, ENIs can still communicate to the, to the outside world. Once we have found that and fixed this communication problem in the in the smaller uh, cluster, um, it was then time to to roll this out to the uh, main production clusters. And um, for that, everything went fine according to the procedure that we have um, established to um, uh, configure Cilium to only run on on new nodes and the, the Amazon CNI plugin only to run on the on the older uh, older nodes, um, the 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 rollout worked fine. We had two small gotchas where we had um, missed on instances with low IP limits, and where we also then had some workloads that were consuming all the resources of a node could or a large amount of the resources of of, of the node that could not uh, run any anymore because Cilium would use more resources compared to the to the Amazon CNI plugin. By adjusting those resources for these workloads, they could um, also be deployed and scheduled in the end. Um, yeah, um, in the end, after a couple of days, since this was a larger cluster and we didn't want to uh, um, roll this out uh, continuously, we took uh, three days to do this. Um, we had the um, the cluster um, migrated for, away from Amazon CNI to Cilium, and we had 400 nodes running with uh, with Cilium. Uh, with this, we then went into the um, weekend and started to celebrate. But after a couple of additional more days, we started to see um, some DNS issues. Uh, we have we were seeing uh, elevated errors on get address info e not found messages. 
we thought first it was DNS. Um, we investigated core DNS, so we investigated the VPC resolver. Um, in the end, those were not the, 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 the source for the errors that we had communication issues. Um, going away from DNS, we moved to uh, investigating uh, AWS limits to see if we were hitting some of the known AWS limits and some of the lesser known AWS limits that are um, on the hypervisor of all the AWS um, EC2 instances. But in the end, it was not the AWS limits either. Um, so we were then suspecting that it could perhaps be Celium and we started to use the um, very good uh, tools that come with Celium, both Hubble and um, the Celium system. And using the, the data that was collected from Celium system, we found an issue in uh, routing tables that were set up for, for the, the pods on, on the node itself, where we got um, by reusing IPs when pods come and and come and go, um, those IP were reused and those IP were re reused using um, wrong routing tables in the uh, in the setup. Uh, we investigated this some more, and uh, by looking into into the Cilium uh, source code, and um, there we found. Uh, the issue that we think that uh, is solving our communication problems. And we are now in the process of preparing this and uh, as a PR for the for the Cilium project. Uh, we are still trying to verify that this is the, 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 the root cause for our communication problems that we had in the beginning. But so far, everything has now been stable. And uh, if we if we can verify this, this this fix then we are also confident that um, we can uh, use Celium in the way that we had intended to do. And uh, yes, with this, um, thank you for listening to this presentations. We will be around in the um, chat for for questions and uh, reach out if you have any further questions even after the conference. And we are also hiring. So um, if you're interested to work for us, with us, please reach out. Thank you.